<laughs> What's up, guys? It is Ryan and Neil, along with Sidekick Sage, April, and whoop, Evan. Whoop. Evan is back up, again. Yep. Say hi again. They didn't hear you. What's up, guys? So, hope you had a great weekend. Neil and I were talking on Saturday, so we put this together. A lot of people call us, and they don't know what they have to do to buy a house. They don't know where to start. They don't know what's required. And since the requirements is probably the biggest thing to talk about, Neil and I wrote this whole thing out and he's going to explain to you the breakdown incrementally based on the price of the house that you're looking for, assuming a couple factors. So welcome to well, that. We're basing it on a 580 credit score. We're also Minimum. Minimum. We're also, we had to estimate taxes. So remember, everything we're doing here is an estimate because we don't have a real house. So we're doing, first let's start. Let's start with a $100,000 house. You're, you're going to call in to us and you want to buy a $100,000 house and we're figuring the taxes are $1,200 a year, which is 100 a month. Pretty, you know, th th that's the average in Philadelphia. It might be a little less, might be a little more. And based on that, you need at least $2,000 a month income. Now we're talking about gross income, not net, not when you come home. But also we're doing this with no debt, which means... You don't have a student loans. You don't have a car payment. You don't have credit cards. So no child support, no alimony, any of that stuff. So everything we're doing, we, we're showing you what you need based on that house that you're dreaming about buying. How much income, how much you have to make. Here's what I always say all the time. There's three things in buying a house. Income, assets, and credit. We can fix your credit. I can't, Ryan can't, nobody here can give you more income or give you the down payment. I'd like so, to. Right, <laughs> like right. So, like, I can't give you a better job. And let's move on to the next one. 200000 On a 200000 we're basing it on 300 a month in taxes. 3600 um, a year. That's an average that might be the Philly. It might even be Delaware County. You might be able to find a house for that. For that, you need $3,600 in income. That means you have to make at least, what is that? 42,000 a year, 36 times 12, it's about 42, 44,000 a year. Yeah. And then we're moving on from there. And remember guys, with the down payment, we're assuming three and a half percent down payment. Now, we have grants that one and a half percent down payment, or depending on other situations, that number could change a little bit. If you want to put more, some of these payments may change and vary, but again, for the sake of this, just remember three and a half percent down payment. And I'm not even doing down payment. What I'm doing is figuring your income. How much you need if on that three hundred thousand dollar house? You have to make five. I'm sorry, taxes were basic. Taxes are five thousand dollars. You have to make fifty one hundred a month. How much is fifty one hundred a month? Sixty. That's like more than that. It's just over sixty. 000. It's like a little over sixty thousand down payment. Yeah, okay. Who cares? If you're buying a three hundred thousand dollar house, you should have ten thousand dollars to put down. Or like I, Ryan said, we can do that grant one and a half percent down. And then we'll move on incrementally from there. Woo! $400,000 house. On a $400,000, and we're figuring Montgomery County, Bucks County, whatever, taxes are $8,000 a year. You need to make $7,000 a month. What is that? $84,000 a year? $84,000 a year. Down payment, fourteen. dollars And remember, all these figures are based on no car payments, no credit cards. So... Anything you have, you would have to make more if you have that $500 car payment, those $300 in credit cards. Go ahead, April's got a question. I have a question, Mr. Neal. Does that mean one borrower needs to make that kind of money, or no. can it be both That's borrowers a good question. combined? That's a great question. Both borrowers combined, as long as both borrowers have the credit to qualify. You can't, and I get this question all the time, you, you can't go on a loan and use your husband's income if we can't use this credit. So yes, that's for two borrowers. All so this be household is one, income. two, household income. Could be three borrowers, could be four borrowers. So, so that's it guys. <laughs> we just wanted to touch on that subject. We know a lot of people say, what do I actually need to buy a house? If you're looking to buy a $100,000 house, you gotta make 2,100 bucks a month gross, and you have to have at least 3,500 in the bank. Also factoring in an appraisal, which is going to cost you at least 550 bucks, or approximately 550 bucks. 200,000, 3,600, 300,000, 5,100, and for those of you lucky enough to buy 400,000 dollars, seven grand. So I hope that helps you guys. If you have questions, call us. If you're looking at a house and you want to know whether or not you could afford it, 
just pick up the phone, send us a message, we'll respond to you and let you know. One other thing, you can also have a non-occupying co-borrower. Okay. If you have a mother, brother, father, sister that has income to offset, let's say you're only making 1500 a month and your mom has disability or social security, a thousand a month and no debts, and she'll go on the loan. There you go, you got it. So there's ways we can put this together again. Being a brokerage, we have options. We can make things work for people that a lot of other people can't. So give us a call, send us a message, and we'll make sure to get you into a house. Thanks, guys. Have a great week. Like us on Facebook and Instagram, please.